Hello YouTube. This is going to be a review of API's Nitrosorb, a uh, nitrate uh, removal media. So I looked uh, on YouTube to see uh, if there were any other videos and really couldn't find anything that talks about how effective it is. So, so I'm going to uh, tell you about it. Then I'm going to test it out on my 55 gallon uh, cichlid tank which has really high nitrates. I think it's over 80 and I've been trying to get the nitrates down uh, with not much success. It did a whole bunch of water changes and it didn't seem to even make a dent. So uh, so here's what we do. So the, um, the pack says it's size 6 which is a large pouch for up to 55 gallons and under the instructions uh, it says, for an established aquarium, recharge every two weeks. Uh, when nitrates are detected, recharge every five days until the nitrates are reduced to 20 parts per million or less. Replace pouch after two months. So let's open it up. So it says you should put it in your, in the flow of your uh, filter. So I have in my 55 gallon tank, I have, oh, well that didn't open up that one, I have uh, a canister tank and a hang on back filter. So here's what the pouch looks like. So here's the pouch, here's the media, it's fairly full. So I want to be sure it's going to actually fit in my uh, hang on back filter. Since you're supposed to recharge it every, uh, I think it said five days on instructions, maybe a little less, if uh, a little fewer days if necessary, it needs to have easy access. So putting actually putting it in the canister filter would be a real pain and getting in and out every five days. So I wanted to put it in the back of the hang-on filter because um, uh, that has really easy access. So let's get the measurements. So we get, let's see, what's this? Six and a quarter by six by about a half an inch. So that and as you can see, it's pretty flexible. I could probably uh, cut it back a little bit, fold it in half this way, and that would be what uh, that would be six inches by three and three and a quarter inches. Probably would affect the flow a little bit. So I want to try to actually put it in the hang on the black filter uh, this way, so we get the maximum flow. So, but before I do that, I want to show you, I want to do a reading uh, with my API uh, nitrate test kit to show you what the reading is before, and then I'll do a reading a day later, and then two days later, and then depending upon how it does, maybe three days later, to see if it actually gets nitrates down. So let me break here while I do uh, uh, get the, the nitrate test kit uh, are ready to do that and show you what the readings are. All right, so here's my uh, African Cichlid 55 gallon tank. Pan over a little bit. <laughs> They're kind of skittish. So I did a 50% water change four days ago. And there are, well, I can't, it's a little hard to tell because they're all hiding behind the rocks. There are five. Uh, uh, adult African cichlids in the tank. Um, so they're all good size. And they do like to hide. Yeah, they certainly do. So I also have an automatic feeder on the tank, uh, which you can't quite see here yet. Uh, it's a um, Petco automatic feeder, and I feed them pellets. So I use an automatic feeder because I wanted to have consistency in the uh, amount they get fed. So whatever change results we see as a result of the nitrosorb, I wanted to try to hold the other variables constant. 
how much how because I know how much you feed the fish makes does make a difference. If you feed them too much, you're kind of adding more nitrates as the food decays. Um, so I wanted to keep the the fish the food level uh, consistent over time. So that's good and. Uh, so you'll see, uh, I'm running the, the uh, water test now, waiting for the five minutes uh, to uh, end, and then I'll show you the results of the water test. And so this is four days after a 50% water change, and I did uh, another 50% water change, uh, I think a week before that. And, uh, I did a gravel cleaning at the same time. Um, I would say good, a good gravel clean, but not extensive, not extensive. Uh, but uh, decent, and you could see it was picking up some, but there wasn't a ton of uh, detritus in, in the gravel, so you know the gravel is um, reasonably clean. I wouldn't say completely clean, but at least reasonably clean. So uh, I'm going to break here and uh, get the test results. All right, so here are the results of the uh, API nitrate test. As you can see, <laughs> it's a nice bright red. So uh, the test kit's kind of hard to tell the difference between 40 and 80. Uh, it's, I think it's uh, not impossible, but it's really difficult. But it's not even close. It's uh, definitely not 160, <laughs> Okay, but it's somewhere uh, I mean, it could be 80, it could be a little more than 80, it could be a little less than 80. That'd be my guess in terms of the reading. The test kit is fairly new. It has an expiration date of uh, December 2021. So I think they say five years on the nitrate test kit, uh, which means it's, uh, I think it was manufactured December 2016. So it's a pretty new test kit. Uh, I wanted to be sure that the test kit uh, was uh, not expired. I did have a much older one that was like, 10 or more years old that gave uh, even worse readings. But I figure, I read somewhere online that uh, the nitrate test kits uh, will give uh, worse readings as they uh, age. So uh, this should be a fairly accurate reading, even though it's a little hard to get the exact amount. But it, the color here is the, it's the key indicator. It's a really bright red. So that's, that's where we are. A lot of nitrates in the tank. Now we're going to uh, Actually, Nix is going to rinse out the uh, the nitrosorb per the instructions, and then I'll show you putting it in the filter, the back of the hang-on back filter. All right, so here's the nitrosorb packet after I rinsed it. <coughs> excuse me for oh, let's say three or four minutes, and now I'm going to put it in the uh, back of the hang-on back filter that I have. Uh, the instructions say place the packet in the aquarium water flow. It doesn't say anything about uh, how much flow or how little flow. It just says place it in the flow. So I'm assuming that uh, pretty much any flow rate will uh, work. I guess we'll find out. So I'm not going to adjust the camera so you can see me putting it in the uh, hang on back filter. Okay, here we have the hang on the back filter. It's a Penguin BioWheel 200. And we'll put the packet, try to even out the material a little bit, the packet there in the back. It uh, has a little bit of air in the package, so it tends to puff up a little bit. I imagine that will probably dissipate over time. And let's see how we're doing here. Well, that actually looks pretty good. So we got nothing really coming over the bridge there, so it's sufficient flow. I was a little concerned that between the filter and the uh, nitrosorb, that it would obstruct the flow too much and most of it would bypass the filtration in the media and the nitrosorb and go over the bridge instead. But that doesn't seem to be happening. So that's that's good news. So uh, we'll put the cover back on. 
and we'll put the top back on and we'll leave it that way and until we come back tomorrow 24 hours later and we'll do another water test and see how much nitri nitrates it's absorbed so uh, I do have a second filter on the tank it's over there that's a uh, Magnum Hot 250 uh, with a bio associated bio wheel so if I had to remove the media not the, excuse me, not the media, the, uh, the filtration material. I could do that and I'd still have sufficient uh, filtration material for the tank. But it looks like I don't have to do that. I think, okay, I'll probably check back uh, later today and see how it's doing. Be sure it's not, uh, the water's not all flowing over the bridge and bypassing the uh, nitrosorb and the filter. But it looks okay for now. All right, so uh, I just finished putting in the uh, the nitrosorb in the back of the filter, and I don't know if you can tell from the video, but it clouded up the tank a fair amount. Um, it was crystal clear before. I did rinse it, so maybe I didn't rinse it enough. We'll see. I would imagine that uh, the filters will uh, will take care of that in a little bit. So we'll see. Uh, I did read online that some people had some concern about it uh, clouding up the water. Um, so I definitely experienced that. Uh, and you can you see the little particles from the nitrosorb. So we'll, hopefully the fish will be okay. <laughs> we'll find out. All right, we're back. It's been uh, 24 hours since we put the night resort packet in the uh, hang on the back filter. As you can see, the water has cleared up. It's now nice and clear. And I did a water test, which I'll show you now. This is after day one. Let's see, here we go. Still bright red. So I would say no effect after 24 hours. So we'll come back uh, in another day, another 24 hours, do another water test and see what the result is. All right, uh, here we are. It's day two. It's been 48 hours since I put the nitrosorb in the uh, hang on back filter and here are the results it is still bright red uh, it doesn't look any different to me at all so that's two days worth we'll uh, see how day three turns out All right, we're back. This is day three since I put the nitrous orb in the hang on the bag filter. And here we are, still bright red. So this is somewhat disappointing. It doesn't look like it's doing anything. So uh, I'm gonna have to uh, rethink if I need to do something differently here. Um, so. I may, uh, off camera, give it another couple of days and see where we are at day five. Day five would be when I have to uh, recharge the nitrosorb. So if we get no change by day five, I'll recharge, recharge the nitrosorb. And uh, I may try a different tactic, like, uh, uh, well, I'm not sure, cleaning out uh, the filters in case it, uh, and do a massive water, 50% water change or something. So we'll see. But at this point, it's not looking very good. All right, it's uh, day five. So it's been uh, five full days since I put the nitrosorb in the back of the hang on the back filter. And uh, 
So the results for day five, I skipped uh, I uh, skipped reporting day four because I wanted to see if there was actually going to be a difference. So day five, we we'll look at day five, and gee, guess what? No difference. It's a bright red again. So something's not right here. So uh, going to have to uh, um, take some time and figure out what's going on. So I figure could be a few things. Could be well, it really is doing something, but I've got so much uh, uh, nitrates uh, being generated that it can't keep up, or the difference is not enough to show up uh, to lower it below the, the and into the uh, below the 20 parts per million range. Uh, the other possibility is that um, the way it's in the filter, the way the nitrous or package is in the filter, is not really effective. It's the water is not passing through it properly, so it can't do whatever it's trying to do. Uh, not quite sure what other options there are. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, any suggestions, I'd be interested in hearing them. Uh, but I'm going to, I think, start over, uh, do uh, clean out the uh, the hang on the back, my second hang on back of the filter on the 55 gallon tank, cichlid tank. Be sure that that's not contributing to the excessive uh, nitrate level. Do uh, one, maybe two, 50% uh, water changes to try to get back into something around 20% if possible, and then see if the nitrate absorb is more effective in that result. Uh, then, of course, I've got to recharge the nitrate absorb because it's been five days, and assuming that it's done something, uh, it needs to be recharged. And then we'll, I'll have to figure out what to do. If I can figure out some way to get it to ensure that the water is passing through it properly, uh, that's probably the next step. So I'm going to do all those things, and then we'll do a part two to this video, and we'll see after I've done those things, if start from fresh again and see where we are and see what happens day by day up to about five days to see if it's really going to make any difference. So very disappointing at this point, but I haven't given up, and we'll see what I can do to uh, make it effective.